Yo, yo, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a little while. There was a lot going on, but I'm very excited because we are back with another video for Hunter Hunter reactions and music talk. Can't wait to get into it. But of course, before we begin, my name is Robertini the Source and I am a music producer. So I also, I just also happen to do anime reactions and I, well just to say anime content in general i do anime stuff but i also dig into the music stuff i haven't really been putting out a lot of music because i've been very busy with some family stuff going on but i can't wait to get back into everything very excited to get back into hunter hunter and uh yeah as y'all can see um the setup's a little bit different for those of you guys who stuck with me from the beginning so room change going on and uh some other things that went down here my ac is broken so um it's really 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 hot in here so i'm just trying my best to record in this heat but i am getting a new ac and just waiting for it to come in so i can kind of take care of all of that so yeah should be a good time so if you are interested in the anime content, definitely go and head on over to the Patreon page because there I have the reaction and the music content for the anime. So definitely go check that out. I do Hunter x Hunter. I also do One Piece and I also do Tower of God. So definitely go check that out. Of course, if you want to look for all the music production stuff as well, that is all going to be in the links in the description below. And if you like this content and you're here on this, definitely go and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop a video every week. So without further ado, guys, let's get into episode 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. No, really, it's actually 50, whatever. Y'all get the point. <laughs> let's just hop into it. Let's go. Oh, I think I know what he's doing. That is so tough. <laughs> wow, what a G. Oh. 0. 0.7 seconds. <laughs> what? How was he able to calculate? Yo, 0. 0.7 seconds to attack. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Talk about speed. Wow, and he wants to dislocate his finger? That's actually pretty smart. I don't know. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> I just... I'm sorry. I, I had to laugh at that. That is funny. <laughs> wow, okay. Hmm. Kilo was such a G, though. Hmm. That is a smart question. Oh, man. Oh! <laughs> That's a really cool Nen ability. Wow. <laughs> wow. Tough. Interesting sound effect again. Up oh, there he goes. Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. That was really cool. Dang, they tried. No, oh, boss definitely left. Either that or he found Kurapika. This is tough. Wow, what a way to coordinate this. Wow, she was in deep thought. She was in deep thought that same yeah dang wow he did that was tough so tough man oh wow look at them all so young <laughs> that's actually a good way to put it mm. this is her fortune that's right oh that is so tough she is thinking pretty hard. Oh. Oh. This is some interesting stuff, y'all. Wow. So I, I just wanted to pause because I love how low-key everything in the fortune is actually being played out. So what decisions Pakunoda are going to make? We're going to find out. So let's keep watching. For real. 
All right. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was great. And he's going based off of the fortune. Oh. Yeah, Kurapika better be careful. He might be right, though, based on everything that was being said before. Yeah. He's not even afraid. Exactly. Dang. Wow. It's just like that's what everything was described. Wow. <laughs> so? <laughs> Can you say that? Mm. He, he's not going to give it away. Wow. Oh, man. These spiders really live by this, this strict code. Villain is showing no sense of... I mean, when I say the villain, hold on. When I say the villain, you know what I mean, Krolo. He has, he's showing no sign of weakness right now. It's crazy. They really have this mindset. It's like, if we die, we die. We played our role. We have a role to play, so I'm going to abide by it. That's t actually pretty tough and interesting. And obviously, they don't know that. So, Kurapika's trying to, you know, try to take advantage of him, and he can't find a way. And now, I feel like Kurapika's actually losing a little bit in this because he's getting angry. he got to be careful. It's going to be interesting. But I love what's happening right now, so... Let's keep it going. Oh, Kuda Pika means. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the Kuda Pika is playing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yo, Kuda Pika. Yo, Kuda Pika is a G right now, though. Man, talk about negotiation. He ain't playing. <laughs> Yo. Wow, is she really gonna follow these? <laughs> oh, wow, exactly. This is wild. All this about to be a man, Kurapika got fooled here. Yeah, I feel it because, um, you know, I, I feel like what's about to happen is Kurapika's assuming that these people are care so much about the boss, but once again, the boss is in a position where he does not care if he dies, and he knows what the spider is about. So the question is, is Kurapika's demand, is it enough? I don't think so, based on what they're saying here, but let's see. Or let, I see, I guess. Wow, interesting. And the funny thing is, where's Hisoka in all of this? Wow. Yeah, so they follow the rules. Wow. What an interesting group of uh, people, actually. Mmm. So there... I want to pause here real quick. So there is a little bit of heart for, for these members. I really thought they were all cold-blooded. I thought they were all straight. Like, yeah, let's just do this. But not 100%, which actually makes this very interesting. Really interesting. Oh, <laughs> he's not. <laughs> Signal X two X retreat. <laughs> oh man! Now Kuda Pika's gonna start overthinking. Yep, leader is an absolute. Yeah. What what great symbolism there for that? That's pretty cool. Mm. Ah, he's so angry right now. Oh, what is Pakunoda gonna do? She's just willing to comply like that. Ah, oh, man, this is interesting. I don't know. It's almost like they've accepted their fate. Mmm, good realizations here. Oh, <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, what an interesting response. Oh, man. 
pause right now. This is heating up. Oh, man. Like, even I'm getting a little tense because I don't know how this is going to turn out. Because Kurapika is absolutely correct in asking all these questions. And Melly is absolutely correct with those observations. What is going on with the troop here? What's going to happen? We already kind of know what Krolo's up to, really. He's not really up to. He has this expectation. It's so interesting. I'm just wondering if they're going to really abide by their unspoken rules. So, let's see. Oh, no. Are they about to fight each other because of this? See, this internal conflict is crazy. Oh, what? Wow. Dang, God. <laughs> this is that enhancer, that enhancer uh, in him right now. Dang, he broke those like it was nothing. <laughs> I don't know if those were Nen chains, though, to be honest with you. I don't think they were, so. Yeah, he's angry. Dang. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Once again, this is what I love about this. It's like you you think that they're really in a tight situation, but low-key they're just like they can get out of this. They were probably just waiting for a perfect opportunity. This is great. Alright. Wow. <laughs> Yo, right now they can all just go out and fight like crazy. Wow, see? Yep. Wow. Exactly. He's absolutely right. Wow. He is with the he is with it. Wow. I love this internal conflict. This is tough. Ooh, this is so intense. Yo. I love every time they show scenes of Hisoka because Hisoka's so amused right now. He's just like, yes, yes. I just want to fight Krolo. Yes, everything is is happening according to plan. Secretly, I feel like Hisoka is just like yes, everything is happening the way that I that I wanted to. <laughs> Low key, like look at that like smirk on his face and his eyes closed. <laughs> oh man! All right, let's go. <laughs> oh my God! What a see? He's so. <laughs> Oh man. Wow. Hisoka's kind of a G for this, but he low key saves Krolo so he could fight Krolo. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. This is not what I actually expected. Interesting. What a way. Yo, Hisoka's a G. It, it, I literally just said this. Everything's happening according to plan. Get everybody in turmoil only to have Hisoka have an opportunity to fight Krolo. And now Krolo cannot contact anybody from the troop. And now it's Hisoka versus Krolo. Are they about to fight? Is this what's going to happen this episode? Everything's happening so quickly. Wow. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Let's keep this flowing. I'm impressed, actually. Wow. Wow. Oh, he took his shirt off? He was like, nah. <laughs> He's really serious. Oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> He's so good. He's so mad. He wanted to fight him at full strength just to, yes, I finally get there and look what happens. Oh, by the way, I can't use Nen. <laughs> oh, Hisoka's probably so mad right now. That is great. I, lo I love the change of face. I love that. <laughs> wow, he's so mad. 
He's so mad! So, she can actually save the boss by killing the actual remainder of the troop members. By doing that, then the, ch the I think the, the chain thing that um, Kurapika put on him, it won't work anymore. Is that what's happening here? Guys, definitely let me know if that's true. Uh, for sure. I just want to make sure. But this is wild. Who's she going to kill? She says she only has six left. Oh. Oh. She killed herself. Oh, I thought she was trying to kill that. Oh, this is different. Oh, that's smart. Wow, she was a loyal one, too. Mmm. That is true. Yeah. Yeah, that's why he really did it. Yeah, that is very true. Yeah. Okay, so the 50-50 plan was the Greed Island thing. Okay. Oh, now they gotta get to the auction. And try to get this game. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh oh mad random i like this guy's voice voice actor for this guy is great also this is interesting i that this is a whole this is a whole nother thing on top of all the nen stuff obviously that's been that we know about right now hmm Wait, wait, wait. There are... I'm sorry, I'm going to go back real quick just to make sure I saw that. There are Nen users who can... Well, we'll find out in a second. There are Nen users who can remove other people's Nen. Well, we know about the stealing. Okay, that's what he's referring to. I'm assuming. Greed Island arc. Whoa, what a way to announce... <laughs> Wow, I've never seen that before. Wow, mad random. I've never seen an anime announce a new arc. Like, they'll announce, like, the new locations that they're going to, but, like, I've never actually seen an anime be like, yes, this is the next arc. Oh. So, Greed Island is the next arc. Okay. Wow, this is cool. That's exciting. That's exciting. Greed Island seems like to be the most interesting place. Expression of love. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we know about Squala being killed. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, we know about Squala being killed. Mm. So, Greed Island. How are they going to get this? Mmm. Wow. Lo Mad random. Mad random. The suits. They look tough on these kids, but I just want to say something. Where in the world did they get these suits from? <laughs> Once again, it's just one of those things where it's like, okay. <laughs> it's just funny to me. It's it's nothing bad. Maybe I missed that before, but I'm just laughing because it's like, where did I get these suits from? Low key, unless they probably bought them, and it's just implied. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, that's right. Twelve billion. Dang. <laughs> 25 billion. 
this game is worth it. Right? <laughs> Thirty billion dollars, <laughs> or whatever the the currency is in this. <laughs> Thirty billion. That's a wild number. Ah. Whoa. Okay, let's see. Mmm. Mmm. I just don't want them to be manipulated because we don't know what these guys' motives are. They chose to live inside the game. Ah, makes sense. Is he gonna say it? Ah. So they got a train. When is the screening, though? I knew it! Oh my gosh, they're gonna come in. They're gonna do some... Mm. Wow! Wow! Yo! How mad is everyone? <laughs> how mad is everyone? Yo! Oh my god, I would be so mad. They bet 30 billion. 30 billion and they just stole... You see, I knew they were there. For a reason. They're not gonna just be there just to watch the auction. Come on. We already know what they're about. Oh, man. The question is, what is the goal now with them? I guess we'll find out because everything that happened in the last arc, the Phantom Troop arc, I think it's called, right? So, whew, let's see. Man, I knew this. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. All right, let's go. Wow. Smart. Yo, this, <laughs> and I love how they call it a quote unquote multi chat. Okay, so in the world of 2020, right, we all understand that it's just basically just an adapter so you can connect more controllers. It's so funny how he's just using all these things that, like, that is such like basic technology of today. This is great. <laughs> memory card multi-tap joy station all reference to the fact uh, reference to the playstation console that is awesome man i love that that <laughs> that's awesome for real <laughs> and for those of you guys who used to play video games or still play video games we all know the struggle because i remember when i first got a playstation and i got the playstation 2 as well both times i struggled because every time i would play a game um we, we didn't get the memory card so like i would play a game and then I'll have to leave the game pausing on so I would forget my save until I eventually got the memory card. Oh man, that, that was a struggle. That was back in the day, y'all. Back in the day. <laughs> uh, so all my millenn millennials, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. This is great. <laughs> all right, let's continue. Mm, dang. <laughs> they don't even know yet. Oh. <laughs> exactly. An answer would say something like that. <laughs> exactly. I just want everything to be super powerful. <laughs> I want all of me to be strengthened. <laughs> That's what he's thinking. <laughs> Dang, that was quick. Of course, it's a secret. Wow. Dang, he was like, yep, I think I'm going to pass. Mmm. So, oh. That's tough. Hold on. Hold on before I continue. Ooh, Kuda Pika does not look good. What is these bags under his eyes? I see that. I see that. But anyway, um, interestingly enough, um, that's really cool. I just wanted to say that's cool. So, Kilua. 
is going to try to uh, take advantage of using electricity as to an um as a complement to his Nen ability. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Kilowa is a manipulator. So he's going to be, man I guess the idea is manipulation of electricity. Oh, that's interesting. That's tough. That's tough. Okay. Wow. Wow, asking Kuda Pika for training. Wow. Dang. Oh. Interesting. That actually makes sense. And hence, so you could balance 10 and Ren. That actually does make a lot of sense. If you think about it. And that's, that's, that feels like something Gon could definitely do. Hmm. That's pretty cool. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love this. Yep. Suppress it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Interesting music. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Okay, okay. Well, this is a Patreon exclusive, y'all. So let's listen to this ending as well. Let's do it. This is different. Oh, that's tough. I know. <laughs> nice. All right, y'all. That's funny. Okay, well, the first tutorial, well, you just got to get yourself in the game. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Man, that was very cool episode. Um, I like that. I like the, just the whole concept of this Greed Island thing. So... Basically, Gon and Kilowa's Nen has been tested. And they will not be able to survive in the game unless they get a stronger Nen. So now they got to figure out how to, to enhance, you know, I don't want to say enhance their Nen. But to get their Nen stronger before the, um, the auction, which is going to be so interesting. Because as we know, the actual highlight of the episode was the fact that the game, um, the game console was stolen with the game in it. And the memory card. So that's going to change everything because now they might have more time because they're going to have to go find the Phantom Troop all over again. End and beginning. <laughs> all right. Oh, boy. Oh, he's able to bring the price down just slightly. Oh, but he's about to find out. He's about to find out. Oh, they're about to find out, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, he wants to become a pro hunter now. That's cool. 60. Oh... 60? Oh, man. Kilo was brother. I wonder what his role is going to be. And we still haven't seen Ilumi yet. I know he was there. I, I, that's, I can't be going crazy. Wow, Kilo was brother's like, screw that. That is very true. Hmm. Oh, there's that girl from the opening. Yeah, he looks kind of badass, too. Oh, in front of everybody? 
Oh, okay. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Hmm. There goes everybody lining up. Ooh, I like this music. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I like how Gon is just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so choosing the best of the best. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, that's an interesting line. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Puhat. I wonder what this guy's about. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so Kilo is gonna go in. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Ah. His Kilo is going against his ideals. Mmm. Ah, he's no longer an assassin. Mmm. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's tough. Manipulator. Oh, oh, that was hard. Oh, so, okay. You guys might have to help me out here a little bit, but I guess because he's a manipulator, by using Hatsu, he turned his um, Nanora into actual electricity. That's pretty dope, man. That's pretty dope. Uh, you know, I expect him to do a little electricity, but I didn't expect all that. That was pretty cool, man. That, that looks fire. All right. Family reasons. I like that. That's why he used electricity. That makes sense. He uses that because during his training as an assassin, he was tortured all the time. And I'm assuming he was tortured a lot with electricity or dealing with electricity as someone who also did the torturing. That actually makes a lot of sense. Wow. I'm going to guess. You guys can also correct me if I'm wrong. But that is pretty cool, man. That is really cool. All right, let's keep going. Hopefully, gun will be okay. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Was that gun? <laughs> Was that gun? <laughs> oh man! Of course. <laughs> Dang. Uh, <laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> Alright, before I watch this, I wonder what Leorio's up to. It's just a random thought. I would love to see more of him, of course. And, uh, ooh, my cat's, uh, my cat's being a little, uh, aggressive right now. I'm sure you guys can hear him. Um, yep, there's my little buddy. Hey. You guys really can't see him right now, but he's really hungry. So let me finish this episode, y'all, and uh, I gotta go feed my uh, feed my cat. Facts. I was thinking about that too. Ah, uh, look at <laughs> look at the Oreo. Just uh, I admire what you're doing. Oh, he's gonna. Wow. That was a nice exchange there. That was really nice, man. I, I hope Leorio passes this test. I hope we see more of him. I hope this is not the, the last that we see of him or something. I'm going to assuming no, but it seems like we may not see him for a while. So seems like this Greed Island arc is going to be focused specifically on Gon and Kilowell, it looks like, which is going to be really interesting. Oh. Oh. 
That makes sense. You know, the one, the one that the Phantom Chew stole, I didn't even think about the fact that obviously there are more systems. As long as you have multiple copies of the game, it doesn't matter. Duh. Whoa. Okay. Makes sense. All right. I want to pause again. Mad random. I, I just I just want to make sure that I'm focused on this. But another thing that I really like about this, this is very creative. Now, obviously... Um, there was a 1999 version of this anime, so obviously this manga was written a long time ago. So the fact that they were talking about virtual gaming at that time, man, Togashi was definitely forward-thinking with this, so that was pretty cool. Fair enough. <laughs> it's not a bad way of doing it. <laughs> Absolutely. Ah, here we go. Oh, this is cool, man. Oh, this is really cool. Hey, yeah, I'm very interested. Tell us about it. Okay. Ah. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, that, that's interesting, actually. Okay, so it's actually, it doesn't matter if it's by per player. Loading save data. Oh! They made the game? All right, y'all, all right. It's time to get, of course, into the music portion, my favorite part of these videos. And today we are gonna be hopping into, what episode is this? I think it's 60, 60, <laughs> episode 60. And um, there's a couple things that I just wanted to talk about just a little bit, and we're gonna hop into this because I, I love the kind of cool kind of vibe that we're kind of getting as we're heading into this new arc for a uh, greed island right so let's play some stuff and you guys will see what I'm talking about so the beginning of this obviously they're all kind of going and then the one thing that I really noticed was immediately it was kind of this weird sound that was going on and then all of a sudden a very quick drum break I mean we're talking about this the quickest drum break I I've ever heard <laughs> and then it goes into this cool islandy vibe it's actually pretty cool it's, it's like a lot of cool guitars so let's just take a listen to that dun, 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 dun. yeah I like that bass line so that's what I'm hearing I'm hearing a lot of cool guitars I'm hearing uh, that cool little bass line and obviously the the percussion drums as we go in look at the drums so what's interesting about this is the way that the music is playing I'm thinking in my head and let me as a matter of fact I'm gonna play a little bit more so it feels like it's in the count of four one two three four and one two three four and one and the reason why I'm counting is because what I notice about this kind of cool, this cool melody is that the bass line does that dun 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 So sometimes in certain songs I know that you can actually change up like the time signature so you can do this weird thing where it's like it'll be like in a in a two count phrase and it goes with three count phrase and it can go back and forth. But in this situation, I think it's in the count of four. But what's cool about it is the fact that you have a situation where um, basically it's an account of four and at the end of the very fourth note in each bar it kind of has like an eighth note vibe so that's where you get the weird kind of like uh, cool little islandy vibe coming from so in other words you know it goes dum do 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 so that's pretty cool so that do 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 would be like the last part leading into the next kind of phrase and I think it's pretty cool and then here it's kind of they change the uh, the chord here same same um, melody same stuff going on it's just the chord is different so now the bass line sounds higher pretty much so that's really cool I really like this 
Now, what's interesting about this is this kind of music is playing while Kilua is just trying to think for himself <laughs> right now. So he's trying to figure out what's going on with this uh, test. And um, I find it interesting. What an interesting song choice, actually. It almost doesn't really go with this kind of mood. But at the same time, I think this is being played because the idea is they're about to go to Greed Island. So they want you to get into this weird kind of island -y vibe. That's At least that's what I'm kind of... Um, taking from this so let's actually continue I like the guitars and the drums now what's cool about this part now is that now we're kind of getting into a little break and all you're gonna hear is just a bunch of drums playing which kind of makes sense because Kilo was speaking and he's obviously speaking in his mind and we're trying to you know follow along with what he's thinking in terms of what they're trying to do here so with that being said i like the fact that they kind of took out the stuff to kind of take a to remove some of the distraction of the music to keep the focus on kilo's thoughts it's pretty cool <laughs> and it's a very slight break so to be honest with you i did not expect that it's funny going back and i'm watching this I didn't realize that that break was only for a very short minute, so that's pretty cool. Not even a short minute, just a couple few seconds. So that's pretty cool, man. So I really like that. I really like that. I like the drum choices in this. There's a lot going on, so I can't tell you guys the exact drums. I'm not like some sort of sound connoisseur here, but it's pretty cool, man. So let's continue. Nice. Awesome. So then the song kind of just stops. So this is one of those songs where it's pretty pretty simple in the sense that it's just kind of one repeating thing over and over and over again. But to me, it just symbolizes the fact that we are transitioning now to the next arc, the islandy islandy vibe, obviously, Greed Island. So it was a pretty cool uh, thing to listen to. I love the guitars going on. I love the bass line as well. And uh, it's just a really cool, um, cool little piece that was put together for this anime. So kudos as always and i hope that you guys enjoy just this very short little analysis and just my thoughts on this and of course there are a lot of other songs that i want to do i'm kind of going as the anime goes along i also know there's a couple more that i want to do but i want to save it for when the character actually comes up for example hisoka's theme i definitely want to talk about as well but i want to wait till like there's an actual full scene with hisoka again and when that happens, I will definitely talk about uh, Hisoka's theme. So that's something to look forward to. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching the set of reactions in the music analysis. As you can see, I was in my old setup. Um, as a matter of fact, I think there's a couple more episodes before I transition to the new setup. So I'm just letting y'all guys know. But once again if you did like these videos and the other videos where you like this content on this channel definitely go hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when i drop a video every week and of course i'm a music producer so if you want to look at all the other music stuff all the links will be in the description below i can't wait to continue to show you guys more of these videos and we will be back on schedule so i look forward to it so don't let anybody ever tell you who you can or cannot be. My name is Robert Tini, the source, and until the next video, I am out. Be easy.